In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a moving average that allows the user to pick both the duration and type of time period. As an example, the user can choose the duration, so 13, and the period type, week. Now let's say they want to look at a six month moving average. They can type in six for the duration and then choose month for the period. Let's see how to build this. The first thing we need to do is we need to create two parameters. The first parameter, we'll call this one the duration. This is going to be an integer, and I'll default it to 13 for now. I'm going to create a second parameter that is the period. For this, I'm going to make it a string, and we're going to list out the values I want in there. So the first one is day and then week, and then month. Hit OK, and let's show both of these parameters. Okay, great. So now we need to create a field for our axis, for our time series. So to do that, I'm going to create a new calculated field, and I'm just going to call it period. I'm going to use the date trunk calculation, the date part that I'm going to use is the one that the user picked, so the period. And then the field I want to evaluate is the order date. Hit OK. And you'll see Tableau converted this to a date time, so I'm going to switch that to a date data type. I'm going to right click and drag that period field to the columns, and I'm going to choose period continuous. Now if I switch my period to month, you'll see I get a mark for each month to week, I get a march for each, uh, mark for each week. So now I need to create the moving average. So the easiest way to do this is to drag sales to the rows. And let's change the table calculation to a moving average. From here, I'm going to save this calculation. I'm going to call this my moving average sales. And now I can edit this calculation. So here, where it says minus 2, this is a 3-day moving average. So it starts on the current period, and it goes backwards 2. So current period plus 2 prior makes it 3 periods. So if I want to do a 13-week moving average, they've chosen 13 over here on the right-hand side. This number here actually needs to be 12. So instead of saying minus 12, I'm going to have minus the duration plus 1. So right now this is 13, so the user is going to expect a 13-week moving average. So my calculation is going to take minus 13 plus 1, that gives us minus 12, and then the current period results in our 13-week moving average. Hit OK, and there we go. So I can change this to 26 weeks. Maybe I want it to be a 26-day moving average, or a 90-day moving average, or maybe I want it to be a six month moving average. All of those will work. That's all there is to it. Have a great day.